Hey guys, welcome to Reddit Brew. I have a few Reddit stories for you today, but first we're starting off with a long overdue update of a saga we read a few months ago. It's that one that involved that entitled sister who tried to mooch off OP, then got pregnant to try to get an American visa. Then when that didn't work, she tried to get OP to adopt her baby. Then when that didn't work, she tried to make her unborn baby disabled for money. It's a whole long, disgusting ordeal. So if you haven't heard those ones yet, I will link the playlist now and in the pinned comment below. But without further ado, let's jump into it. My entitled sister got away with literal murder. So it's been a while since I last posted. I've been busy with a lot of changes and to be sincere, my horrid sister was last in my mind. This isn't a great update, but to shorten a lengthy story, my sister was arrested for causing injuries to her unborn baby. He was born premature and with severe physical damage. She was fine. Unfortunately, the baby boy didn't make it and died a while after being born. A few days ago, my uncle called to let me know my sister somehow managed to get all charges dropped except for a minor charge related to making a false police report. She accused her mother of stealing her car. My sister has no car. Not the best news, all things considered. But right now, she has no money left, save a few hundred dollars she was given by a mutual friend, and no one in our mixed family wants to help her. She even tried tried contacting my parents, we share a deceased father, not our mothers, to get my new number. Thankfully, they refused. That's really my only consolation right now, as like almost my whole life, she has the power to cause immense damage and still get out of it. Regardless, not all news is bad. I did hear because of her US criminal record, she will not be allowed to apply for a visa for 10 years. So she's stuck in Latin America with no home, actual money, or a job. She's never held a job since we were kids, and she's in her 30s. I wish I had a more satisfactory report on this, but sadly, there's no jail sentence. Small edit. Also to clear something, my sister wasn't trying to terminate a pregnancy. She was trying to cause development damage to give birth to a special needs child. She would have had access to a monthly check for the rest of the child's life to cover their care and needs, which I doubt she would have used for that. Like I said before, what a disgusting, vile person. Honestly though, it's a blessing in disguise that the baby didn't make it. Only because he would have just been born into a lifetime of abuse. So in my opinion, I think the universe did that poor little baby boy a favor by saving him from a lifetime of mistreatment. I'm very disheartened that she did not get a jail sentence. Or any repercussions, really. It seems like evil people like this always get off the hook somehow. But at least she got some karma by being homeless in Latin America. And let's just hope she never gets pregnant again. Ugh. Exposing my mom, sister, and cousin at a family event. I, 21-year-old female, live with my mom, 56-year-old female, and sister, 25-year-old female. I work part-time and clean houses on my days off to pay for school, rent, and other necessities. My savings are about 12k. My mom and sister have well-paying jobs but can never budget and have bad spending habits, so they're always broke. Anyway, I recently found out that my safe disguised as a book was missing. I put my money in a safe book in a hidden area because my sister and mother have had two incidents of taking money from me. I forgave them, but I'm not stupid, and I know that they would jump at the chance again. So, to ensure I know the money is mine if taken, I bent them all at the right-hand corner, have pics and videos of them bent, and the serial numbers of some bills. Furthermore, I found it broken open in the garage bin, covered slash wrapped in cardboard. My 
cousin, 24 year old female, was over the other day and I saw her in the kitchen carrying the same cardboard. It was from a ginger ale box. She then went to the backyard with my mom and sister who were outside already. I just came into the kitchen to wash my hands and go upstairs and shower as I had just come home from school and was on the bus. So I decided to check the wallets of my mom and sister and lo and behold, there was the bills with the bent corners. I took pictures and videos of the stolen bills in their wallets matching my missing ones. I hatched a plan. The next day, my extended family and mine were at my aunt's house sitting around and talking. I asked my cousin what she was doing with the cardboard the other day. She said she was helping my mom spray paint some frames. My mom likes to refurbish furniture. I said, okay. Then I got up to get my bag with the broken book safe inside and grabbed my sister and mother's wallet. I came back and dropped the broken book safe in front of my cousin. My sister was close by. I asked her if she knew what this was. She had a surprised look on her face, but said nothing. I then turned to my sister and said, well, I know you definitely know what this is. By then, everyone was watching. I then proceeded to show my family all the pics and videos of my bills, then opened their wallets in front of the family, showing my matching money with the bent corners in them. The pictures clearly showed the numbers on those bills matched the ones in the wallets. My cousin's mom started going off on her daughter for stealing from family. Most were speechless. My mom, sister, and cousin tried everything to defend themselves. I then stated that I'm being generous by not just going to the police and giving them a month to return what they owe. Also, that I'm moving out. I apologized to my aunt and family for the scene. Then I went home and added a chain to my bedroom door. I had a knob lock, but those are easily broken into. Since then, I have spoken to some family members. Some have said that I went overboard and that there was a way less dramatic way of doing this. Edit, I'm getting a savings account and a card on Monday. Also, my cousin, the one who stole, read the post, and comments. Update, my aunt, the one who had the dinner at her house, gave me the money my mom and sister took, as she is being way more gracious than I and is giving them extra time to repay her. She wrote up a contract so that she can take legal action if needed. She didn't want me to file a police report, as she knows it would put unnecessary stress on me. Basically, she said she wanted to handle the situation for me. My other aunt, aunt, stealing cousin's mom, contacted me again and said she was selling my cousin's iPad, Switch games, and making her work to repay me by the end of the month. I'm currently staying in my friend's basement for a few weeks until I find a more permanent situation. My friend's parents are giving me a really cheap price in exchange for cooking meals. I'm a great cook. After this, I don't plan on speaking to my mother, sister, or cousin for a while, and I'm never moving back there again. Good for you, OP. You go, girl. If I were OP, I would be going no contact with that entire family other than the one aunt that actually seems to have a brain and some empathy. I'm glad to hear that OP is getting a bank account. Even though at 21, she should have already had one by then. And if she had, all of this would have been avoided. But it seems like her family has given her absolutely zero guidance, especially when it comes to finance finances, so I'm proud of her for figuring it out on her own. Better late than never, right? My boyfriend's parents are embarrassed he chose a community college instead of a university. First, let me start with his sister. His sister decided to go to a university in California. They bragged about it all over Facebook. They pay for her tuition, her apartment, rent, groceries, etc., and it totals over $100,000. When my boyfriend told his parents he wanted to go to a community college, his parents, more specifically his mom, got so upset upset, she cried about it. Then, because he actually chose a community college, they decided to make him pay for everything, which includes his tuition and his car payments, which is about five to ten thousand dollars. She begged him to go to a university, and she also asked me to dinner just so she can beg me to make him choose a university. FYI, he's transferring to a university after community college. To go further, his sister is an acting major 
major and got an award, which they bragged all about. Meanwhile, she also got a DUI. His mom was more concerned about people finding out in our hometown than actually dealing with the problem. May I mention, they also paid for the lawyer and never really punished her in any way. When finding out their daughter was arrested and spent a night in the county jail, they bailed her out and the first thing his mom said was, are people gonna see her wearing an ankle bracelet? My boyfriend got a 4.0 and an award, to which she never mentioned anywhere on her Facebook or even congratulated him. He's an engineer major, has super hard classes, stays up late doing homework, and also works in his dad's office part-time slash full-time, while his sister hasn't had a job since starting college three years ago. Now, his younger sister is choosing TCU, which again, they all bragged about. They will pay for everything just like his other sister. So basically, she is more concerned about her image and bragging rights over anything else. And when they embarrass her, she punishes them. And my boyfriend got the worst of it because of community college. Wow, what a bunch of pretentious D-bags. And you guys already know what I'm gonna say. Go no contact. I feel like I'm the Oprah of no contact sometimes. You go no contact, and you go no contact, and you go no contact. But seriously, if you are so blatantly not important in someone's life, or just a scapegoat for a perfect image, just let them go. Why should you do anything for someone that will never see your value, and only sees your value when it benefits them? But anyway, that is all for me today. I hope you enjoyed these three entitled people stories slash the update. If you did, please leave a like and subscribe. I truly appreciate when you do, and I will see you in the next Reddit story. Bye!